Hello again, one and all. Two things that I didn't address in that previous video that also need to be addressed. Um, why the FBI would get involved in a situation like this. And um, something else I just forgot. Um, so why would the FBI be involved? The FBI would be involved in um, cases of online predators and online groomers because it could be an incident. It's very likely an incident that would affect people outside of their state. When something goes outside of the state or the county, the FBI is likely to get involved because it's the entire United States federal agency. And the FBI can get involved when it's a global issue. Um, they're saying that there was a victim in this particular case with uh, Jackson, uh, with somebody in Australia coming out. The FBI needs to be involved, and whatever agency that handles those kinds of things over there in Australia also gets involved if it turns out that this allegation is true. Um, and the thing that I just remembered is platforms. So a lot of people, uh, a lot of the outcry is coming to why isn't YouTube stepping in uh, as a platform and also Twitter. Um, so most platforms don't have uh, rules for cre creator content offline behavior. As we have seen in the past, YouTube will get rid of accounts where people have been prosecuted for certain crimes. But until they are prosecuted, they don't have a policy for any other type of online behavior because no other type of online behavior, I'm sorry, offline behavior, no other type of offline behavior is a direct threat to their platform. So no matter how much of a predator someone is, and, of, and again, this goes outside of what's going on with uh, Jackson, um, it doesn't affect their platform. It's it's something that they can turn a blind eye to because it's not happening directly to or on them. They don't have any real world responsibility and don't have any connection to the real world consequences as a platform. And I know that that's like, uh, some people call it immoral, some people call it unethical, but that's just the way it is. Twitter, so the doxing thing, Twitter is responsible for because it was put on their platform and it put someone directly in jeopardy on their platform. Why they didn't get rid of uh, Jackson when he did that immediately, that's beyond me. That's That has to be some kind of favoritism shit as to why they didn't get rid of him. But Patreon um, has a wider span. Like Every website can make their own terms of service and get rid of people uh, on their own terms. Patreon didn't have to get rid of Jackson. But they did because of their no-doxing policy. Even though it happened on Twitter, as far as I uh, am aware of the situation, it did happen on Twitter. Um, but, like, just the real-world company, uh, capitalist, plutocracy, whatever you want to call it, is the fact of the matter is, is that online platforms just aren't responsible for what happened to people in real life. Uh, they're responsible for the content that they allow, and if that does result in someone's harm, they can be linked back to that and held liable. But as long as things are happening that they can't be linked back to and held liable for, as long as there's no one like, children, uh, send me your feet pics or whatever, directly on the platform or something, then they're not held liable for that because it's not something that is a explicit direct threat that was posted to their platform that is putting other people in danger like doxing is in case I didn't explain that in a way in which anybody can understand because this just happened and all that so um and I want to say that that's just my perspective on it but it's really not a perspective it's an observation that's just the way it is the, a lot of these predators are smart enough to not do anything that is a direct threat on the platform therefore they get allowed to stay and that's just the way it is um, so I understand the angle that YouTube is coming from. It's not our business if he's, or he, she, they, whatever. Um, because there's obviously more to this than just what's going on with this uh, person that everybody's talking about. But there are plenty of other predators on here. Um, it's just not a direct threat to their platform, whatever they're doing. As long as they're not doing things that are a direct threat to people. Um, so, yeah. That's the perspective on that. That's the legal perspective. Um, they're not obligated to do anything, so they don't. Like, kind of, kind of like, why would they? Why would they kill their cash cows? Um, in one perspective, in another perspective, as far as they're concerned, who fucking cares? It's not their families.